What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So this is Daily Gunners Talk Season 4, Episode 3. And uh, within this episode, we will certainly be discussing uh, the topic that's currently hot at the moment in regards to young English players. Today we'll be discussing one of Arsenal's young hot prospects in the form of Xavier Amiachi. And uh, we will also be discussing the fact that Hector Bellerin has returned to training after his long-term layoff. So let's just jump straight into the first story for this episode. So Xavier Miachi is uh, one of Arsenal's young hot prospects. However, this season it started off terribly bad for him. Uh, he picked up a foot injury but he's since returned uh, to fitness, full fitness that is, and uh, since his actual return, he has actually scored five goals, I do believe, and he has provided four assists in the PL2. And uh, of course, he is a highly rated youngster within the club. Uh, of course, his development was slightly slowed down, or if we could say his path to the first team was slightly slowed down due to this particular injury, but he's touted, or he's being mentioned as the next uh, Jaden Sancho. So of course, we do know how well Jaden Sancho has done at Borussia Dortmund since he's left at Manchester City but it seems as if a lot of young English talent is being scouted or headhunted uh, by a lot of clubs based in Europe, in particular German clubs. Uh, so we've seen Jaden Sancho move over to Borussia Dortmund. Uh, we've got our own Reese Nelson, who currently is on loan in Hoffenheim, and he's had a fantastic season, I should say. Same applies to Jaden Sancho, and Amiachi is the next on this particular list. So I read an article recently, as you can see behind me, in regards to why uh, German or European-based clubs are actually targeting young English talent, and the reason reason being really that there's a lot of talented youngsters uh, that are being actually developed within the English clubs but due to the amount of money involved within the league, which is one of the key reasons, uh, due to the money involved within the league, uh, a lot of these youngsters are finding themselves playing in the lower leagues and not getting a shot at the higher level. So we did also have the situation with uh, Carla mahodson Adoy, who's currently a Chelsea youngster, who was actually wanting to leave Chelsea uh, in January during the transfer window, due to the fact that Bayern Munich wanted him. And uh, of course, that didn't pan out for him. Uh, obviously, Chelsea do now have have a, a transfer ban in place so I can't see him leaving anytime soon but in regards to our own youngster he signed a new deal back in 2018 uh, I believe it was in January and uh, basically he signed a deal that would see him at the club until 2022 which basically means if Bayern Munich want to get this particular young player they will have to fork out the money that is required. Is he a talented kid? Yes, he is indeed. Uh, very, very skillful. He's got an eye for goal, great pass on him. But as I said, the injury certainly hindered him. I'd love to see him get into the first team. So of course he has come up the ranks with the likes of Emil Rose Smith, uh, who also is on loan uh, out in Europe. Uh, but of course this guy has not even had a chance to kick a ball for Arsenal. So if we could possibly see him in the first team, that would certainly allow us to make a decision as fans of course if you want to see him progress through the ranks it's always lovely to see one of your kids progress through the ranks uh, Unai Emery does seem to favour the young players of course uh, we did see him play uh, Emil Rose Smith at the early stages of the season so of course he did end up sending him out on loan to obviously develop him further but I have no doubt whatsoever that we will be seeing uh, a lot more from Emil Rose Smith as long as Unai Emery is in charge uh, at the Emirates we will see a lot more from him in seasons to come but this is is an interesting story we will certainly wait to see how it certainly develops over the weeks but let's just talk about the next story now and uh, as mentioned Hector Bellerin has returned to fitness as you can see from the image behind me uh, he has actually returned and started to do some physio uh, after his long injury I don't believe we will see him at any point during this season we will probably see him at the start of next season during pre-season, I should say. But he has certainly been missed in the first team, in my personal opinion. As mentioned as well in my review for the Tottenham game, uh, down on the right-hand side, our right-hand side really, uh, he was definitely missed. We were missing that pace. We missed those crosses. And he was having his best season to date uh, up until he got injured and he had actually picked up a number of assists more than he had picked up I do believe uh, in previous seasons so it was a very very bad injury but it's also good to see him returning to full fitness 
Hopefully we can get a, uh, a much rested player when he returns, someone who'll be raring to go and he can pick up where he left off off uh, before his injury. But as I said, yeah, extremely missed within the team. And uh, I can only wonder where we would have been if we did have our starting right back. That problem of a missing right back was certainly compounded uh, in the last few weeks, really. We've ended up seeing Mustafi playing at right back, uh, which is absolutely awful in my opinion. But of course, these things do happen. This is football players do get injured. But as usual, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.